the leaving gymnastics thing is super random. I was, um, I started to be recruited by schools to do it in college, and I basically was like, all right, Shannon, do you want to wake up at 5 a.m. every day and do two-a-days, and do you love it enough to do it in college? Um, and I knew the answer was no. And it was around that time that I happened, I mean, it, it was really luck. I happened to have a headshot submitted for uh, Wes Craven's My Soul to Take, and I was a, um, an extra in that, and then that was bumped to a featured extra. And then a year later, when I thought post-production was done and the movie was done, I ended up getting a call being like, they want to expand your role. Can you act? And my mom was like, I hope she can. And then, um, and that's when I did my audition. And um, Wes was okay with it. So um, that was my first role. And then I think I was like, bitten by the bug. And then I never really stopped. So that was how that transformation happened. It's very bizarre. It was amazing. My scene, I had never, I had barely acted. Like, I'd never taken an acting class. I was 16 years old. I was mortified. And uh, Wes was, it was a bleacher scene in the pool. And Wes Craven was sitting like, like Wes was one, one bleacher row down from me. And was just, he was just an amazing guy. He was very supportive. I kind of forgot I was on set of a movie, which, I don't think anyone else could make me help, like help me forget that. He was, uh, he was very comforting, and um, yeah, I was very sorry to hear of his passing because I feel like he kind of fueled my entrance into this industry, and I, I don't think I would have continued if it wasn't for him or started if it wasn't for him. So um, yeah, I'm like a someone who believes that. The more I do not in acting, the better actor I am. So I try and do a lot of things. So I learned the cello for Begin Again, and I've, te I've been teaching myself guitar for a few years. Um, I've always loved art. You, I, you'll always see me sketching or drawing. Um, I do a lot of writing, and I do a lot of, I was just talking about this, a lot of um, website and tech type of stuff. I like coding. Um, and I'm a huge traveler. I'm really into travel. I was born and raised overseas. And then um, my parents are both Australian, so my family travels a lot, and uh, that's definitely something I want to continue doing. Yeah. I'm a huge fan of Jodie Foster. Um, Jodie Foster and Jeff Bridges. Um, I, with Jodie, I I'm like a huge nerd, and I loved school, and like it was really important to me. And she's someone who, like, education is very important to as well. Jeff Bridges just seems like the coolest man in the world. Yeah. Um, and he, I, he has a place out in Montana, I believe. I'm pretty sure. And my dream would be to be, like, an actress who has a place out in Montana where I got a lot of family from and have, like, a ranch out there and spend most of my time out there and then, you know, go back and forth for acting. But those two are, those two are like, my idols, yeah. To be honest, I don't really know when that is coming out, um, the exact route that's taking, but I'm in Kid Witness, which is um, Susan Sarandon has the starring role in that, and she's awesome. And um, I just took some time off because I was finishing school and graduating, but um, now that I've done that and I moved in back into New York full time, I was going back and forth for the past four years between school and doing acting in uh, New York. Um, so now that I'm back in, there's a, as of a couple weeks ago, two weeks ago, there's been a lot of changes with my agency and management team. So I've been very, very busy. And I think that it's seeming, I don't know what I can say and what I can't, but I think this year is going to be very good. And I'm very excited for what happens. A lot of things on the horizon. Yeah. I hope so. I hope so. Yeah.